Hi. Hello. <laughs> Uh, see, you see the way you're sounding cute that's not how she is in real life oh. actually no I'm not like that exactly. in real life you're not cute especially when I'm with Emma hi everybody who is Emma do you guys know who Emma, Emma is Emma eh, Emma at least. or Emmanuel pick, pick, pick one so Emmanuel so how would the short form of for Emmanuel be Emma I don't care it's Tito that said so I mean Emmanuel or Emma <laughs> You guys, you go way back in case you are thinking. This is not... This and you is already know who the troublesome one is. Almost 10 years. You see, introduce yourself, I beg. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. My name is Tituluwa Sam. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, hey, no, you talk to me, I introduce Thief. myself. Thief. <laughs> hacker, hacker, yeah. They want to hack. You want to... <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Tito Lua Sam Oladakpo, popularly known as Tito the Writer. I am Jesus Brand Influencer on Instagram. I do ministry on social media, um, do videos teaching the Bible Christocentric, Christocentrically. That's I preach Christ and Him glorified. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, by the way, if you guys remember the first episode, um, I brought SLK and I said something about SLK. This lady here also possesses the same quality. Oh, we just say okay. Over on your boat. Oh, look. On your boat, do you understand? So she hear plenty English. So just oh, brace yo, yourself. Yo. Brace yourself. Mr. Emmanuel, nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, how are you? How is, how is life? How is studies? Studies, fine. <laughs> I mean, you paid school fees all through. Maybe <laughs> you want to start. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully, um, I say hopefully, um, see, because I want to get, I want to be impressing with English. I can't they talk rubbish. That's just B. I don't know. So what time they try to talk? <laughs> <laughs> um so this series has, you know, been centered around relationship yeah. through marriage and everything in between, you know, what it takes and all that. And you know, considering the fact that we kind of go way back as you said, and yeah. I know like eight percent of okay, if you if you put it over hundred, how, how much do you think I know? Of how much of, of what? Of you, my your life, John. your you know a lot, you know a couple, you know a lot, because so you always ask questions. So put it in percentage. In percentage, I mean, well, I'll put it like this: percentage of, of what most people know compared to what most people know. No, no, don't compare. Just of your of life. my life, forty yeah. percent, and no, that's, that's very that's high. Because you know, I thought it was eight percent. Do you know why I said? Why because, would you say eight? Because of my, a lot of things keep unfolding. Do you understand? Okay, you, well, you then me? you discover that. Mm, yeah, because uh, I mean, even normally, my siblings discover things on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> because the me of then, the me of then would have said maybe eighty percent gone. But I was learning. You know, like, oh, you know, we didn't weren't we didn't talk for a very long time. Um, and then we started talking again. So yeah, of course, while my brother left me, um, so I lived my life. For instance, yeah. For instance, and I don't. This was not how I intended to start, but let's yeah, just go, go there. It's fine. Um, one of your. By the way, you guys should check out Tito the writer on um, Instagram. Your YouTube and don't go. Tito Lua Tito Lua Yeah, but check that Instagram out. There's just something that just switched about her recently you have always known now she's been an amazing person but there's something that switched Thank you need you. to check it out but there was something you mentioned that caught me on her ways and now if you tell me that i you told me i go feel somehow because that would be, be that i wasn't listening or i was insensitive or something you said you were raped yes i told you oh yes i told you oh yes i told him you guys i <laughs> this brother of mine <laughs> i don't know something switched recently about him too because nana is just there everything i don't need to tell him since. <laughs> i told you many times this guy we'll talk about that later you didn't tell me about rape but you told me about something Emma, else. i did you told me about something else it wasn't rape if, well, i told you don't i don't bully know. me on online no don't bully me no. online don't bully me you online. see this is how brothers behave i don't, don't like bully it me online. You, so I let's get you. let's get to the beginning so All tito right. is someone that you know you came from being i don't even know if i don't think you ever you sure came from being a very shy not being able to talk not being able to you, you are not too sure about yourself kind of person this was not even the version of you i met mm. but now can even comparing that version of you that i met because i thought you were confident but now seeing you now and seeing you of the day i even see a lot of difference and everything you know but from your stories mm -hmm. you know there has been a lot of change you know you yeah. have there's been a lot of metamorphosis you know, so you, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on <laughs> but <laughs> let's start let's get to the scratch let's get to the scratch yeah. how did your relationships life relationship life start for instance 
Yeah, I think it caught me unawares, actually. Um, so for, like you said, I was raped. So I didn't... Um, what, one of the effects of that is that you do not... Or, well, for some people, is you do, you have no affinity for m- men. You get like... It was one of your gender. Excuse me. That um, messed me up. So it was shocking when I had my first crush. And it was very, very intense i'm kind of i'm an empath so i feel things very deeply so that's of course of empath, i didn't know you? what that's the meaning of empath because yes, no they have no they assume say all of us they understand no this yeah <laughs> so yeah empath <laughs> so um you feel things in part i feel things very deeply <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry no <laughs> people should save me <laughs> um so I didn't understand at the time of course it was it was a bit too much because I didn't first of all I didn't like I said I didn't plan I I didn't plan it it was I was coming from not liking men to really liking this person you know and that was that was the first time I think I got over it took me like what like a year plus me well, sorry people. sorry sorry for that I cut you short can yeah. we quick can we touch a bit on the rape story whatever yeah, we can touch I was touch. six um, who I was, was six. it a family yeah I don't, I don't, that's, that's I don't want like to know the person with you know. um, an identification is not necessary. At the time, you didn't know what was going on, yeah? I was six. Definitely did not know what was going on. So when six. did you realize? I Well, I knew something was off. Somebody came to save me, but it was already too late. They cleaned me up, told me not to tell my parents. I kind of already knew that something was off. I remember. I always remember exactly the scenario. I remember everything. But um, yeah. But there were there were effects in that your libido is raised. You open you're opened up l- long before time, um, and then I gave my life to Christ. Oh yeah, I gave my life to Christ recently. Sorry, not long after that. And so of course, no sex before marriage. And yes, I'm dealing with huge libido. Nobody's talking about it. There's no there, there's no conversation about it. There wasn't really social media at that time. It wasn't really Google, so it wasn't like something I could really just ask around. So I was dealing with this imbalance, you know. Affected a couple of other things, my self-image, identity. I had fear of reject- rejection. I've always had fear of rejection. Or I'd, I'd always had, because that's done with now. I'd always had fear of rejection. And that probably stems from the fact that I knew. And this is what I tell a lot of my friends and people now, that in case you get pregnant and you don't, you didn't plan it, try your best to if you want to keep it because you decided to keep the pregnancy not to communicate it or to your while you're pregnant because i think children can feel it so i think i came out always wanting to be extra loved you know that was fear i think that's where fear of rejection started my sister was a few months old when my mom got pregnant with me so i think of course the stress was too much for her and maybe the entire emotions i'm sure there's some psychology about it i came out always wanting to be loved so that now add rape now add parents splitting you know so when so when i got into the relationship um field it was like somebody that was hungry just looking for validation everywhere like a drug and this is almost a no-brainer but did guys take advantage of that no 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 well well, I'm actually a bully. So yes, right, like I said. Uh, yeah. Can you stop? But you, <laughs> you are confessing. So, so I I love a lot. Like I love really deeply when I do. But at the same time, even as as I'm really loving you, you can still collect. So it wasn't really do you guess. But so and not that took advantage of me physically. Not that, but emotionally, of course yeah that of course because i don't even know if they knew they were taking advantage at some point because this is just a person that that really loves you know and it was too much you know so of course yeah and it was from place of feeling less than i felt less than for almost all my life i just started getting yeah. better um so talking about the libido how when when did when did you get to a turning point I don't think I ever got to any turning point. <laughs> I don't think I... Maybe when I got married and then there was vaginismo. So the libido flew out the window. Um, but, nah. You just... You just... His grace is sufficient for you. Right? Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile... You just know how to live A lot of things it. we even talk about. You know, now that you mentioned it. I was looking at you when you said 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I've been telling everybody else, like I said, we go get parts because too many things. Like for example, I don't even want to dive. So, um, okay, just talk about that vaginism, vaginism, so that we use it to advertise, you know, your book and like send people to where they can watch. Because that's another 
season. Oh, yeah. Do you know? That's but different. just touch on it. Like, what is vaginismus? Okay, How vaginismus d- is um, an involuntary refusal of the woman's body during penetrative sex. So everything else can happen except penetration. So that's what it is. And Meanwhile, if I you had a high libido, that means you were having a lot of sex. So no, how? No, no, no. I wasn't having. Te- I was sexually inactive. <laughs> but a libido. What it means is you were opened up without concession, without your consent, very early. So I think your body doesn't know how to align because somebody tried to open you okay. up. Because so what I like, thought libido was is you, no, no. Libido you is like a, an for arousal. Yeah. And yeah, but it doesn't, but it doesn't mean, mean, that, mean you were doing. That's anything. why I said that okay. it was in. There was a. There was an imbalance in the fact that here is the word, here is the re- religion saying sex is bad. If you have sex for marriage, you're condemned. Da 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 da. Okay, and then okay, but I agree. But here's what I'm feeling. So I didn't do anything, but I mean, of course, thoughts, all of that. Okay. Jazz. So all the talk on the vaginismus, which is a whole lot of talk that yeah, so you resources. might even be going through. You don't, you won't even know you are going through it. Check out our uh, um, 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 YouTube. YouTube, Tito Samuel Adapo. I'll, I'll put it there. Then you have a book. <laughs> they find them. <laughs> the book. <laughs> I'll be put the book here. Yes, it was there for a long time. But what's the title of the book again? Pop my cherry now. Yeah, no. So she she says a lot about that, but that's not where I'm going. You know, <laughs> you know. Um, so your so that means um you know so this was how you go into relationship and yeah. everything. Yeah. So so what were you looking for? somebody to love me and did you get that of course not because i didn't even love me so i didn't i didn't i didn't know what i was looking for so as much as if you're as much as a nice to me that's that's it why we're, we're married in my head i've put your son name behind my name fast you know so i was i was broken right i needed to find myself first um so i was of course i was attracting a lot of broken guys um uh, dated peter paul matthew andrew but finally shall we marry jesus christ so that's fine but the, and there's a chance that those names there's a right name somewhere there i'm just no, joking no, no, i'm no. just joking <laughs> no, 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 no. there's actually no what i mean is like i dated a love guys yeah, like yeah. i dated a love guys um there was this joke one day that if you're going to put your exes in a vehicle which will you use and people will think mm, toyota like mm. brt <laughs> if it's down on we date eh? date it Oh, I dated people. I was just dating. There was three days. <laughs> there was one week. You just get him like, out, base. <laughs> Forget this one is out. You know, but yeah, yeah. I dated people. There was situation shift involved. I was just looking for, I don't know. I was just trying to find something. I mean, it got to an extent where the Holy Spirit had to tell me, you have to go on a man fast. You, went, you, you know that you've dated the world when the Holy Spirit is telling you, for now, okay? No, no more. Don't ask me, is it the one? Don't. I don't want to hear anything. And that's actually where I now started. That was where healing began because. Yeah. So, so I, I want to just get there. So, if if someone wants to be a guy or a girl, like one of the main reason you want to get into a relationship is I just really want love. I just is that is, a problem? Is it, is, yeah, I think it is. I think it is, and I think that a lot of people, especially excuse me, in my generation now, marry sorry Bless who you. they dated last, not who is actually for them. So there's that sense of I want to get married at 30. So the person I'm dating around that time that is mm. just married person. So there's that, there's that, right? And I was almost there. If the Holy Spirit had not come and say, take a break and date me, okay, let me date you, that kind of thing. I probably would have just married anybody, you know. Um, so yeah, there's there's I don't think it's a it's not a right place to be. At the time my husband came, if I was not whole enough. I wouldn't have dated my husband because he came, he's younger than I am and he was much, he looked much, now if you look look at both of us, you, you probably know, but then he actually looked younger, like much younger than I was. So of course it was a very difficult decision to take, but I think that God, of course, I don't think, I know that God knew, so he needed me to be whole enough to, you know, steward that relationship into marriage. So yeah, um, I think that you should find yourself first and you should, you can't find yourself I hope I can say it without Christ. Yes, no. you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't find yourself outside of Christ. The identity of the believer is Jesus. So if you can't find, if you've not found Jesus, I don't think, or you've not, you've not found your spiritual, you know, self. I don't think you found yourself. Yeah. yeah. So if I can add to that, you know, one of the things I always have been saying also is, um, and from what you have said is, 
the purpose of being with someone is actually not to be happy. The reason nah. you are looking nah. for uh, mm-hmm. to, to a partner is actually not to. They, they are not supposed to make you happy. Now, don't get it wrong. It's not that they are not supposed to complete you. Uh, yeah, I said that. You know, so it's, you are you are not looking for someone because okay, I'm not happy. And when I get into this, this relationship, it will make me happy. You know, most times, and according to what she said, you know, we are, by the way, if she's a Christ ambassador, I'm a Christ ambassador, you know, most, in fact, all the times when there's that vacuum, you know, because that vacuum is what makes us do the things we do not want yeah. to do. That's what yeah. makes people yeah. drink, do drugs. Yeah. And you feel the same, yeah, Kukuno, they do drugs, and women are the, kind, are the same thing, you know. The there, there's just something you're always trying to fill it up with. And you realize that it's a bottomless pit, except the one that is made. There's a, there's a God-sized vacuum in every yeah. human being. And that's what a lot of people are trying to fill without God. It, it can't be filled without God, yeah. actually. It's a God-sized yeah. vacuum. You can speak a lot of english you can hide it with psychology you can do whatever you want but listen it's a when it's you and you you know what you're looking for you're just trying to call it another name that's yeah. what it is so it's a bottomless piece on, on, unless the person that it is made for comes yeah. to fill it up yeah. you know so and, yeah. and that's why you know you see addictions that lead to yeah, all that, a whole so. lot of yeah. other things so to that young lady to that guy that you are just like i'm not happy go oh god when because you see other relationships and you see them happy and you're like, this is the person that makes this one happy. No, mm-hmm. first of all, that is misplaced priorities if you want to get into a relationship because you want to be happy because you are already supposed to be happy because God is supposed to be in you, you know, in the presence of God, there's fullness of joy and everything. So, what should now, what, what, what for example, like a relationship starter, somebody that wants to go in a relationship or something, you know, are, you, do, you, do you have anything against that first of that? If people, you want to go into a relationship. Like people should, first of all, like, do you think young people should date, should be in a relationship? I have, honestly, I don't have anything against this. It's just what they do in, in the dating. Yeah. So, what should, what, what, if you were, if you, with what you know now, if you were to advise young girl to on what she should look for ah. or the, re- the reasons <laughs> she should want to go into a Don't relationship. Don't let young because that girl was broken, man. <laughs> <laughs> that girl was broken. I mean, for me, I would have told her, heal first. Stand alone and heal. Heal first. Because I think I got worse because I kept getting into various relationships. That was adding to the yeah, wounds. Yeah, that was adding to the wounds. And somebody that I know told me once, as I'm looking into the camera, I'm not talking to anybody told me once you're always hurt you're always healing can you imagine the brothers was on the one. <laughs> you ah. you're always hurt you're always healing Tito. i felt like jesus Tito, when did I tell you, you told me that in what? your green car <laughs> i remember <laughs> in Sholui, i remember very well I already I was going to call him out one day. Thank God. He said, you're always hurt. And it was actually the truth because I was going through, it was just from one thing to the other. And he was my friend and my brother. And every time I'm always crying, Madam, Madam, what is it? Yeah. Can you, there's can a, you be? They person who will poopoo, no, they know now. They will pack the poopoo. Me, I don't even know. See, I, yeah, that's what he told me once. And I, I think that was one of the jump starts of my healing process because of course. So uh, God used me for you. You and Tosin Yewale actually told me. Tosin Yewale? Yeah. Tosin went to see you. Tosin, uh, I see my guy yeah, now. Oh, yeah, he told me to that. My guy then. Because always you're always hurt. You're always healing. Of course, you people said it in, all, in different ways, but it was around the same time and it was the same message. So I got it. I got what you guys were saying. And you saying. know what used to confuse me? Like what used to, you know, when I say confuse, uh, me about then, uh, uh, me that about time. you then, you know, was you had a lot of people that loved you and used to do for instance remember yeah. then that you come and get me very in late and go yeah. and drop you yeah Con- your concert peter was there a lot yeah. of people showed up yeah. for you yeah was only emmanuel at your concert then? yeah do you understand you had like you had do yeah. you understand so it was like the I things you were looking it. for was i couldn't receive it i couldn't receive it because I, I didn't give it to myself you know so i needed that break i needed that 20 15 2016 to 2018 break i needed that break to galvanize myself and of course i couldn't do it myself so it's not as if i now went on break and i started to work on myself self-love hashtag no i was <laughs> it was painful it was a painful process where god was taking me out of my family which was toxic to him which is stable and to be okay with him so it was it was i had to deal with the fear of rejection that started from always wanting my mother to validate me and my mom felt like 
if I validate you, I weaken you. Mm. Do you understand? So if I give you what you want, mm. I would stop you. I would hamper you. So she didn't give me. I didn't understand it like that. I just put my mom did not love me. My mom did not love me. Growing up now, I know what she was doing. She was trying to say, I'm not your God. Don't build your life on me. You know, so that was hard. I remember I was at a, I was in a boardroom one day. <laughs> if you had seen me that day, you probably said, this is what I'm telling you. You used to cry a lot. And I was in a boardroom. We're having a meeting, board meeting. I just started crying. I broke ugly tears. They had to send me home. And I sat in the room. I'm like, what happened? I, I was, I planned, I prepared slides for this. And I was just crying, you know. So that was the day I had to forgive my mom, forgive, you know, forgive all the things, people that, the the people that sexually abused and people that raped me, you know, all of that. Just I forgive the person that said you're always hurt. And always hurt. Well, I don't know if I've forgiven him, Sha. I don't know. I don't know if I've forgiven him. I don't know if I've forgiven him. He's, he's, uh, we're thinking about it. Okay. So, um, so yeah, that was... That was the beginning of, I mean, it was, so self-love, I always tell people that self-love is not the hashtag. It's a lot of, you're dealing with, you come to the place where you're broken, you look at yourself broken and you love yourself out of it. It's a hard, it's a hard thing. So it's hard. Self-love first starts with realization. With realize acceptance. Ac- so I see a lot of people that are not self-aware. I know when I do something that annoys, like I know when I'm out of line, I, I'm aware. I can be stubborn, but I know that I've done it. You get so a lot of people are not self-aware because self-awareness comes with the attack of your pride. You know that you messed up, you know. So that kind of thing. So I mean, it was a long journey for me, but it was a good journey because I'm here because I mean that happened. You know that happened. You know you brought that out of my mouth because this is us even just focusing on a little a little of your story and yeah. see a lot you have to say about it see a lot of blessings you have yeah meet. so imagine what with when they merge every, even with what you are going through because yeah. at every point there's always a going through yeah there's so always. i was just here saying that you are already a blessing i'm going to be a blessing to Amen. a lot of especially young ladies you know young even old women and all that even men you know so that's by the way you are just stubborn shy, but you're actually very very stubborn like you're you're a bad girl. <laughs> you're a bad girl. Emma too is stubborn. Em, you talon je Emma now. Emma is stubborn. Can't even guys. receive correction. Emma now is stubborn. Ah. Okay. Anyways, I Emmanuel. don't even forget the next question. Anyway, okay, so um, <laughs> so I, I just wanted to say so that thing we're saying that so someone that the main reason she wants to go into a relationship so or he is, he is for happiness that means there's a high chance a 90, 99% chance that the person is broken and not noticing yeah. so you need to yeah. search that and everything so before I proceed to the next question let's just touch this because you keep saying you know we understand we too that we are trying you know going in that route and everything but a natural person when you just keep saying that um, God has to tell me the Holy Spirit sometimes even say HS he shows how close you are he just told me told me this and, and people are like okay he's told you how does he <laughs> tell me? me do you understand how <laughs> let him tell me too how did you get to that point how do you know when he talks how did you develop that com- camaraderie conversation Ooh, come on hey. <laughs> what God cannot do <laughs> how did I get I think um, the atmosphere that I grew up in helped. I didn't grow up in a religious home. I grew up in a spiritual home. I grew up, I met my mom speaking in tongues. Like my mom, yeah. So I'd never, when people are talking about the African mother that would call pastor, that would do this, that would have a dream, I, I can't relate because that was not my mom. So my mom always had the Holy Spirit said, what are you? Yeah, the Holy Spirit. So she never was a religious. In fact, a lot of the fights that my mom and, and I had was when I was towing the religious um, path that I was church, just putting church on my head in a way that I wasn't having sense, you know, that kind of religion where you're not being real, you're not, you're, it's, it's, it's more about the duties, not about the being, you know. So she didn't like it. So that was our fight. And that time, I just thought that you are very unspiritual as a woman. You know, I'm a spiritual person. Mm. So I'm telling you that the atmosphere helped, mm. you know, it did a lot. I grew up, before I watched Omanjari, maybe I was 12. I'm serious. Was, it was no, <laughs> sorry, but no. <laughs> it it's was your guy now, donut so. man. It was donut man. It was him. Um, <laughs> it was donut man. It was salty. You know, it was a lot of Christian, like word based cartoons that I grew up in. When someone was watching Tamo, <laughs> so I grew up with scriptures as songs, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. I know it as a song. There's some things that I go through now that is the songs of then wow. that comes back, you know, and it's properly worded. It's not 
just somebody's opinion of God. It's the word, you know. So that's what I grew up in. I'm saying that because I realized that not it's not everybody that had that kind of background, you know. So of course, growing up, I, I still did a lot of duties trying to get people to validate because validation sometimes is spiritual validation. You want a pastor to validate you. You want, you know, you want to be validated in church. So I did a lot of that, but that was not where it came from. It came from just personal relationship with God. I think it was when I went to serve um in Benin as much as there were a lot of bad things that happened there I still do you know that was actually where I knew that God and I were G's right because that was where I actually I wasn't in a I was I I I mean it's there it's on my YouTube channel it's everywhere okay let, let me let me let's let's pause you there so let's go to Benin don't let's go there. Let's leave. What there. happened in Benin? <laughs> I left there a long time ago. What happened in Benin? What happened in Benin? It's also this validation thing. Um, he had a girlfriend. I knew he had a girlfriend. See, I have a problem with seeing you guys. Anyway, he had a girlfriend. <laughs> I knew he had a girlfriend. And um, but we still we still dated, you know, the whole of Benin. He started as like, ah, my copa copa was banned. Like it wasn't but it got deep and there was the soul time involved. And so that's also like a message to like so in case there's someone also that you having someone with somebody that I has scriptures some, emma oh god i had scriptures i had dreams emma, oh my god emma, oh god but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dreams. give us one scriptures? How do you mean like I to had, um Luke 145? Blessed is she that believes for there shall be a performance. So you'll be praying that God you will bring him to me. We'll I live say, this. Wow. Long, long. You get so like it, that's 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 the thing. So when people come to me and like I have scriptures, but he's beating me, I'm like, hmm. I have scriptures, but he's in a relationship. So there can be scriptures oh, for God. everything. That's the thing. So if you're religious, on... if you're a religious person and that's it, you can you will find scriptures for anything. There are people that find scriptures for killing or that is this if you don't rightly divide the Bible, you would you would find scriptures for anything in the Bible. So as scriptures, it was just a lie. And it was my projection of where my mind was. And this is still buttressing everything as when you are just looking for happiness and you look for it. I, I don't the even think it's places. happiness because for happiness, you have to have something happening. I think it's joy. I think joy is deeper than happiness. You know, I've experienced it too. I know you can be happy and be joyless, actually, because happiness is premised on something is happening. You know, you're you getting gigs. You, you, so yeah, happy. But joy as a person, that even if I'm not getting gigs or everything, I'm still just so happy because of the person in my inside. So yeah, how did I get close to go back to the question? Um, like I said, I thought that, so from where I was coming from, I already had some kind of voice on Facebook, but I was a very sanctimonious person. I was coming hard against those who were practicing sex before marriage. I was, I was condemning them to the hottest part of hell. I was, and point of religion, religion has a loud applause. So I was, they were really applauding me like, yes, you know, but it was a lie. I wasn't helping people. I was, I was, I was condemning them. Okay. But anyway, it was with that me, that sanctimonious me that I went to Benin. And then um, that thing that I preached against. Yeah, uh, what's, yeah. What's so of course, there? so I really thought that God was angry with me, mm. you know. But then only to discover that He actually wasn't. So I think that was where we we now started to really talk, you know, and get close on a real level, not on a sanctimonious level, but on a real. This is where I'm at, God. How do I get out of this? What, so what was there a sign like Paul on the way to Damascus? Did you see a bright light one no, night and like really. Tito, Tito, why are you scared of me? Come back, <laughs> Tito. <I wasn't> scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so because I, I just that connecting point, like was there something you did? No, I didn't do it. He did everything. So like, how did you start how to recognize his it? voice? How did you know? I don't know. I think it, I'd always known his voice. Like I said, from where I was coming from. So when you when you indoctrinate a child like that it never lives it can it, it never lives I, I I was familiar with so it's just it's, it was just as like I, something I you grew into yeah. like so even although I maybe now started listening to religion and deeds and duties it just felt like we just continued from where, you where, where we were you know so um, but it kept on building so over time there were things of course there were steps like I said I had scripture now now I still always want a scripture or like a word from him. Bless you. But I know how he sounds. You were still kabashing before we started. We were <laughs> how did you prepare him? How, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I say, ah, ah, does my place look like shrine? I mean, this, 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 okay, this is like, this guy is saying, uh, <laughs> so, um, sorry, the recording stopped, but yeah, we, we're picking up. So, what I can just pick up from this is, um, uh, which I also believe is, so there's really the voice of God is in all of us, you know, the like the God, believers, yeah, it's you know, it's in all of us, and you, you just have to numb every other noise to be able to you know pick what he's saying you know numb every other noise and uh what i will add to that in terms of what i believe you know yeah. is is um uh which is similar to what you had from the beginning is the one-on-one thingy the the personal time you know yes. the seeking him you know the searching for him although he's there you know but you still have to say it because for example sometimes sometimes some things can be in, be in your house and you still have to say through because you've already that's that's the same thing i said about you know removing noise because you've already packed a lot of things you know and that is what personal time and personal time can be as easy as even just singing worship and not just you and him and just picturing and the holy spirit starts leading you to you know angles and things and start telling telling you stuff and what i was trying to get out of her because i also do not have the exact answer to that and from what she said also um there was no particular specific answer and it, it just buttresses what i've always believed in, in in the sense that hearing from god is u- unique to each individual oh, do you understand uh, if you're asking for encounters i don't think i had any no i'm not even saying yeah, i'm even but saying that how i started hearing god clearly i think is more of clearer if you're asking me how it became clearer I think is when I started listening to um, Creflo Dollar and I started listening to sons, people that have like, you know, so when it's just like you're, you want to learn a language, you listen to people that have the mastery of the language, right? The more you listen to them, the more you get that language. So if Emma and I start talking a lot, I probably will pick up a lot of his, your slang. Yes. And, and start well, talking well, like you, 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 yeah. you get it too. So that, that's what it was. I started listening to a lot of sermons like that, you know, and it started changing my own desires to, you know, be more in tandem with what God really wants me to to have. So I think it became clearer then. Yeah. Than uh, but even the clarity, for instance, when you say I hear, I heard him say go and everything, there is a particular way you hear him, which yeah, of course would not different. be the way oh, exactly, yes, you know. Yes, yes. So and the only way yes. is the only one that can define to each yeah. individual how yeah. they are going to hear him, and the only way you find that is in that you know personal time. Yeah. Anyways, let's. Let's get back to... To relationship. Um, That's um, also a relationship. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. So, I mean, get back to you, your case, your unique case. So one other thing I wanted to touch on, a lot of things to touch on, but we've already even gone beyond 30 minutes. So you are coming back. Shay, you come back. Ah, uh, I have no choice, but why are you calling me out? <laughs> I have no choice now. So the other thing which I want to talk about, which already you kind of touched also was your... How you are not ashamed, how you don't feel a set, certain way, you know, because of what it is in our culture usually, you know, to the way you even said it with pride that you, you your husband is younger than you. And you in, understand in why I'm alone, coming? Because his money is older. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But you know why I'm coming from the angle I'm coming yeah. from, you know. Yeah, definitely. I know, I know. I know. And like I told you, you would actually even realize that. Don't let me even. Let, 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 okay, but yeah, let me say you realize that even a lot of old marriages, a lot of you know. Yeah. Most yeah. husbands maybe are even younger, but you will never hear about it. But yeah. because it's maybe a thing of shame or so. Stigma. What is the difference? Like how? Because you you were so bold. In fact, that was where your used to, YouTube started from. Like yeah, you, that's do you our understand? First video ever, and it went so viral. You got like eight yeah. billion subscribers from that one video. Amen. Glory. So first of all, mm-hmm. how did you even? agree to marry somebody that was ah, younger than my you. Dear, Did you have an issue saying. with it? I don't know if the issue was mine. I think I'd imbibed a lot of what was said to me. So I have a strong personality and I've always had a strong personality. Even when I'm going through, even when I'm sad and all that, I still have a strong personality and I know. Okay, so a lot of people are intimidated by me. It has nothing to do with me. It's your insecurity that's pushing you. But it's fine. I, I, yeah, I, re- that's, why, that's why I said that I'm self aware. Yeah, bully. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said that I'm self aware. I know, bully. you know. So, because of that, a lot of people had projected you are going to get married to. In fact, I remember I had like a word of knowledge. Is it knowledge now? Wisdom. Of wisdom. A word of wisdom that I would. Um, my 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 husband 
was a 40-year-old pastor who had a church in Lekki. And he was getting ready to settle down. So now he was going to marry me. This was at one of my worship services. Somebody actually received. It was a clear word. That's how wow changed to wolf. My, it's only if you think about it, you will understand SMH. later in life. So. <laughs> word of wisdom, word of. Failure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite of wisdom? Foolishness. I did not say it to. Is it anyway? <laughs> but so, you actually. Wait, 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 wait. You're actually very, very smart. Like you are very, very, very... I wish I wasn't saying this because I do not really like to, you know. But you are very... The fact that you... I thought I was going to be explaining to you, but you were already there. You are, you are too smart for your own good. But continue, continue. Anyway, so of course that... And I'd always had that around me. Like you're going to get married to someone that's much older. You know, somebody actually said I need to get someone that was much older because that would be able to control me you know because i was strong and blah 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 and funny enough i imbibed all these things kind of just put put a picture in my head so it wasn't really about i wanted to get married someone that was that had money it was more like someone that was mature someone that was you know that had his own and would not be intimidated by this kind of drama anyway long story short i don't know what's going on anyway um my this was after the man fast so i told you that i went on a man fast two years those those really led me on a man fast so i was coming out of that the problem not the problem but one of the results of the man fast was that i was very okay i didn't want any i didn't want any man anymore i was god had befriended me to point where i was fine I, so if god hadn't brought him at the time i probably would still be single by now because i didn't i didn't care anymore so when he came he was one of my brothers okay now oh, one of one please call me let's call me big hello is let me try the flex he's call me big sis i'm two years older okay <laughs> and i was head of prayer i was head of the singles ministry sam <laughs> you are chopping the work of your big sis continue <laughs> continue <laughs> so like it was you get so i remember uh, but we were close that's the thing we're friends we're, that's and that's the thing i've always had even my bro- my brother is five years younger than I am. You would not know if we sit down and talk. Yeah, you yeah. would not know because I don't I don't really deal with age. I feel like well, it's that guy very, is an old man at heart. <laughs> but my your brother. younger brother is <laughs> an old man at heart. I agree. <laughs> so I mean, I'm not. You are either a wise person or you're not. It has nothing to do with age. So I've dated someone that's ten years <laughs> older. That was foolish. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. <laughs> this, this, yeah. I've dated okay. someone that's ten years older. I've dated someone that's seven that's seven years older. In fact, the one that's five years older really really wild me is of his late memory now but he's late now so the lord is his strength but that was the shock the most shocking elder person i've been like ah and was five years older so it's not really about the age so he someone and i were close it was my g we used to talk so when he started coming and then i saw that he's not he's beyond sisterhood now there's you are wanting something here i said no like four times he insisted that no he knows what he wants so i think what i saw in him was the guy knew what he wanted that, first of all confidence that's some it was, mad it level was so of confidence. confident samuel is very confident no if he no there's nothing like he you see him with, in meetings i see him with handle meetings with top guys in the finance field and all that my husband you think he owns the entire company so he's always had that he you know, knew what he the, the comedian in me is trying to picture even the and he looked process. so young <laughs> that's you need to understand that he looked really the young comedian in me is he just finished and like, university and, and Tito and Tito that's, that's what, what he was you. calling and that's what I'm saying the comedian in me and Tito Tito I, I just want never <laughs> but, he yeah. couldn't he wouldn't his confidence would not even allow me, him to call him meanwhile but I was still Tito, but if he you didn't him. hear this you would not know yeah. like, at, like at least now because yeah. he's also a very mature man, you know. But yeah, continue. No, but you can actually try and mess it and see what's gonna happen. Anyway, so my um, so that was it. That was I had to ask God like many times, like, wait, are you uh, what? <laughs> no, where's the forty-year-old pastor? In like you, <laughs> what's going on? And I was like, did I give you the word? Am I the one that did you ask me? You know. So yeah, we started dating. It was very rocky at first because now I'm more or less like here. Yeah, emotionally you're just coming out from the university hello i was a manager hello what's going on but of course we worked it out someone is a very as much as he's very com- um, confident he's also very teachable and he wants to learn um so and he's a very spiritual person so beyond all of that he wanted to love like christ loved the church like initially that i could see that that's what he wanted to do he, he could he may have made mis- he made mistakes but it, you I, uh, yeah it was good i remember when my mom finally because initially my mom was like well you let your mom in on the age thing too 
No, I didn't let. She saw it. Oh, wow. He looked young. Okay, Someone yeah, like looked you younger. Said, like you he said, looked younger. So she saw it. And I was like, yeah, that's what I wanted to. Funny enough. Funny enough. Funny enough. He doesn't remember. But um, I remember I was wearing a purple shirt that day. I was at work. Emma called me. And I was telling him that ah, my mom was giving me. And I said, eh, because of the age, she does. He said, that's not her choice to make. I said, ah, ah, calm down now. Who said that? <laughs> you. Hey, God. That's not her choice to make. That's not her choice to make. Are you okay with it? No, 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 no. You stick with your choice. I said, calm down, bro. You never even reach like that. Mommy, I did not say she should disobey ah, you. No, because no. which guy? <laughs> because which guy of Akuba between? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I mean, that was, that, that was one of the defining moments for me. Kind of gave me the confidence to stick with it and I'm, I'm i've always been an audacious person so that thing that most people will say don't do now i'm in full-time ministry doesn't make sense doesn't make sense because work you can work you can bring money in your siblings are working there you now say you want to do full-time ministry but anything that usually I, i've noticed that in my life is things that i will always look like what are you doing that's where I thrive the most. So. And that's where you find God, you know, yeah. the bush that is born in, that is not consumed. I mean, I married kind of the, I married a, yeah. <laughs> God's gift yeah. to mankind. So I, I feel my, the answer to that, my question, what gives you the confidence? God. What God? Yeah. yeah. Like, Grace and powers. You know, Grace so and and powers. you went with your full chest and, you know, and I like I the mean, way you it was, it. it was, it wasn't easy. Yeah. I mean, especially getting married, the yeah. wedding, oh, drama. It wasn't easy. I cursed on God many times, but he would always Because I even remember there. when you called and you're like, I want to just cut everything. I was even trying to convince you and, you know, I then was, the next... I was, ti- I yeah. was tired. I called yeah. you that day. I was so tired. Yeah. But, but, I mean, Grace is there. So, yeah. You, you know, I mean, and, look, see... You know, to if you to at least to just say it, yeah, that you know to the balance look, it's not like he came to join you. You are the one that went to because you look younger and you know cuter, you know. Or how do you prefer? Do you prefer that he looks? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Matanga. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that um, was him. Yeah. So uh, that's the thing. I I already knew because me and you we go just the gist. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't even feel like so. We we'll would still do this again. We'll keep it at the no house problem. here. But I want to ask one more thing. Okay. Like um, so. You were there expectations you had of marriage that got cut short when you got married, like you know, so not necessarily from that he disappointed, but bec- the things you of marriage itself yeah, as an institution. You know. Actually, no, I don't think I had any funny enough. I didn't, I did for just light on a lighter note. I don't, I didn't have a dream wedding in mind. I just wanted to get married. I didn't, there was no, no, those my marriage, I never had that, but. What I always had was my marriage must be a friendly marriage. Like I always wanted where my husband and I can play and just at the same time, for instance, he's an investment banker. He's busy half the time. I left him in front of his laptop. I will go back and meet him. I will sleep. I wake up. He would have woken up. So as much as I know that my husband is a busy person, of course, there are times I'll go disturb him. He'll come disturb that's what I wanted. I wanted when of the com- busyness. He finds your busy, time. He Jigga's, always manages mm-hmm. to have your time. You yeah, Jigga, So that friendship was very important to me. So when we're having, the, when we had the issue with vaginismus, what held that marriage, our marriage together, was God and our friendship. We were, we are friends. So we can be having a difficult time. We won't even know that we like had a difficult time until it passes and we're talking like oh this thing could have actually ended this marriage but the friendship was very important friendship is very important to me so i i don't think i had any queer expectation of marriage like oh when i'm married this nah i don't i don't think i had the only maybe okay maybe having a child after a year maybe that's what i and when it didn't it happen happen do I not want to kill myself? No, I live my life. So that's it. There was there was nothing. So you came with a clean slate, you know. Just we'll, we'll um, build, we'll yeah, build together. Yeah, yeah. That was but it. at least so far, you have three, four years? Three. It will be three in December. So if if you had to give a nugget on one of the main things that makes marriage this work, friendship, be friends. Friendship. And you know, I friendship. I, and I think go, of course it yeah. goes without saying, but yeah. I also think that in friendship, that's how you know that God is involved in even friendship itself where it's not I, do, I don't have to I don't have to be dating you to pray for you as my friend you get like and, and I know that our, our friendship is because 
Emma and I fought in this life. We fought God. But you would know that there's God's hand here because somehow we'd always get back they together connect, and yeah. you get so I think even in marriage, that same thing that works in other friendships. You just need to rephrase. You would be like, I, I fought in mine. It's like I fought. Emma and I have fought. You fought. Emma and I, I have fought. You, Emma no, you, you, you maltreat them. You always maltreat them. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Jesus. It's, right. it's the one that not remember important cases now. You do not. T- well, let's let's just you get see, that that's off. How, that's how we fight. Usually that's, <laughs> that's where it starts from. <laughs> that's where but it yeah, from. I'm co-signing that friendship thing. She she said, you know, like. Oh, it's very it can't be over emphasized. Yeah. You know, it can't like my. You know, during lockdown, me, my ah, wife and I, we Lord. saw people talking about. Oh, this when I'm, I'm staying with my husband and he feels so wet, and I'm like, are wet. you are you guys kidding <laughs> me? Do you understand? Are you always kidding me? You know, and it's it's and, and that 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 brought the realization in me recently that I, I just looked and I I, I said that. You know, God, it, love is actually a gift from God. Cause yeah. I just look and I, I wonder why do you I can love my wife so you much? You can withstand why, anything. You know, and like, why did you get like? And it's a gift. Yeah. The fact that you enjoy each other's company. Yeah. Obviously, there are fights and everything, but you sometimes go. You might look forward to the fights because of whatever is going to come after. You see, you are the one that is taking it somewhere else. Because me, I was just going to say that afterwards you kneel down and pray and you ah, get closer to God. I you know, stop it. You know, but it's a beautiful <laughs> feeling. Like yeah, the, it's so beautiful to realize how much you feel about someone, but more beautiful to now get a recompense and probably yeah. even more of how you feel about that person, you know. Yeah. So let's fear that by you know. Guys, I don't know what you <laughs> said. Thank you so much. You know, you know. <laughs> Thank uh, you for I, having me. Yeah, yeah, but we are still having we are still gonna be having you again, you know. No problem, and sir. For more, you know, obviously you can already say that this is a deep person, you know. Um and this is a when you see her on her own in her own world, you'll be like she's not the same person because you know, for example, on her page, like her ministry right now. A, a major part of this is on our page, you know, like, and when, I, you know, sometimes I just look at it and first of Compare all, you're not you. I was going to say something, you said something about when you were on Facebook that I used to go hard. My sister, you still go hard now. You, you just need to know. <laughs> so what I believe about you is, so far you have, you are convicted wherever your conviction, you, you, for example, that thing about nobody you are in Christ or they can still, you go beat person. <laughs> you go flop person. <laughs> the way you bring it. You know, but when you see, for instance, when you, when you, and this, this is not to say this is what this is based on, but sometimes when you see the, even the caliber of people that come and it's, they relate to it or they get something out of it. You know, that is beyond you. You couldn't have thought of saying couldn't this have, at this time and, have. you know. Yeah, couldn't so, have. Couldn't have. And, even the confirmation that we got yeah, between us yeah, and everything, you know. Yeah. No, Emma is a spiritual guy. You guys, let me tell you. Emma, Emma has prophesied so many things that he doesn't even remember. I can't even tell you I just how, talk and it happened. Um, like chance. Ma- April 2016. <laughs> April 2016. Women that remember this. April 2016. I think it was a few days to his birthday, actually. April 2016. Yes, it was a few days. It's May 3. It's May 3. So, yeah, yeah I know your date, too, but no, yeah, I'll continue. Say no, when I come on your show, I'll say it on your show. <laughs> if I, yeah, <laughs> if I, yeah. Anyway, April 2016, Emma was like, You're going to marry a guy that is going to really love you. He's going to. I was just looking at that. Well, is it? Well, but that, that was is just normal. No, we're really encouraging a lie. sister. No, no, it wasn't sister. You actually said some things. I just don't want to say it here. And uh, I won't want this guy since say you don't they use back on this light since. Continue. Continue. That, like, um, it, it was some specific things. I don't want to put it, put it out here. But you said some specific things then. As much as I don't, I'm not kind of person. Bible says test all prophecies and hold the one that is true so i i heard mm. so when things happen i'm like emma said this thing don't, emma prophesied this thing angel if it's just the past uh, Major, blue. which angel is passing stop <laughs> it stop it you know they like it on this <laughs> but thank you so much so thank, thank you. you thank you for having me it's been a pl- pleasant you. eight years of friendship yes you many remember more. yes peace out guys I, me i shall remember me the... i said my own peace out let him say whatever. I, I shall remember the first time Shah, I saw you. I know it was you came to Google Party. At least I have that one in my hand. You did not remember. Yeah, so. uh, me. Thank we God. took pictures. I still have the picture. Hey God. Uh, so yeah. So over time, <laughs> women have more retentive memory than men. 
Do you understand? But yeah, um, thank you. So thank this you was guys. this was just you know this like because there's more gist. there's so much more to tap out of Arike than what I just did today. You know, but he's the only one that calls me Arike. Please, you people should not call me Arike. Yes, <laughs> there's so much. Well, that's the name I know about. There's so much to tap out of her, like wealth of knowledge. Like even as a as an individual physically in the physical realm, not to not talk of influenced by the Holy Spirit, you know. So I, I and I'm being serious here, yeah, you know. I because you are so troublesome, I don't really do this often. But I tr- even we encourage you here and there. But I, I, I count it a privilege, you know, to be able to because even at this stage of your life, for example, see when I call you with unknown numbers, see the way you they attack. Say, who, who, who is this? So I know even at this stage of your life. It's not everybody that has this kind of access, so I do not take that for granted. And I, thank you, know, you thank sir. you, you know. And shout out to Mr. Sam, you know. Although there's a, another reason that she's not telling us here, because because if you remember in the beginning, she said something about libido. You get, and it takes uh-uh. a libido to uh-uh. libidize. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, man, people subscribe. Hey, I'll see you on the next. <laughs> And the see myself, I'm I mean, I'm with the libido. Me, when we be started, but I yet to do the humble me. I yet to do the see, bye bye, guy. Like, how can we end like this? God. <laughs>